Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to remove your, and replace your brake pads and uh, rotors, your front brake pads and rotors on this 2006 Mitsubishi Outlander with a 2.4 liter engine. Okay, next up is to put the car in park or in gear if you have a standard transmission and also apply your emergency parking brakes. Okay, next step is going to be to raise the side of the car and support it on our jack stand. Okay, next we remove our uh, lug nuts and remove the wheel. Okay, before we remove our brake caliper though, I'm gonna just uh, get a screwdriver in here and push these pistons back. This, uh, this uh, caliper looks like it has two pistons here and here. So it's gonna push a little bit at a time and until it goes all the way back so it makes reinstalling it a lot easier, okay? Okay, that should be good. Okay, next we're gonna remove these two 17 millimeter bolts. We got we got one on top and one on the bottom, and that should be all that's holding the caliper. In, okay. There's one. Okay, this bottom one is on there really tight. Plus, there's no swing room down here, so I'm just gonna use my air gun. There we go. Okay, now with our bungee cord in place and ready, we just get this out of here and rest it up top. Making sure it doesn't fall. Okay. Okay, and here's a look at our brakes. And they should slide out of here without much trouble. There we go. Just the outer one. Still got meat on them, so you know, but they're uh, reaching their limits, that's for sure. Okay, and these uh, metal pieces, these are really important if you don't like squeaky or squealing brakes, you want to take these out, uh, thoroughly clean them with some brake cleaning rags. If there's uh, you know rust and residue on them, you could even sand them, lightly sand them with like let's say 220 grit sandpaper and get them nice and clean and get them ready for and uh, for reinstallation, you will need to put the grease on them, okay? Okay, so in order to get your rotor out, you will need to loosen or uh, remove one of the bolts that hold this, uh, holds this caliper bracket in and loosen the other. Uh, you can see back here, this is one bolt and just down there, that's the other one. You can remove one and loosen the other and then just, you could just slide this out and then remove the, the your rotor, okay? These are easier than the caliper bolts for some reason. <laughs> Got one. Okay. There we go. Maybe we do have to remove it completely, but yeah, let's just go ahead and remove it completely. That's fine. And some cars you can get away with just loosening it instead of completely removing it, but on this car. We are going to have to completely remove it. All right, there we go. There's our caliper bracket. Okay, now this should come out without much fuss. There we go. Okay, now putting back your new parts back on is gonna be pretty much a reversal of removal, but I'll give you some pointers and what uh, tell you what to do, so you wanna listen carefully. Uh, when it comes to your rotor, you could always, well not always, you could sometimes resurface them. You, what you want to do is take them to, the, to your local auto parts store here down in uh, Southern California, O'Reilly. Some O'Reilly's uh, resurface these, or if you can't find one, you know, machine shops would be able to first measure the thickness, and if it uh, still has enough meat on it, then they will resurface it for you. They usually charge 10 to 15 bucks. On the other hand, replacing these sometimes, under, depending on your car, it's only cost you know, sometimes brand new, they're $25, $30, so you want to take that into consideration. So after you get this resurfaced or replaced, you basically just put it back on, 
Then you'll uh, put your uh, caliper bracket back on here and you want to make sure you torque these down. I'm not sure about the torque spec for this, so look into your uh, um, you know, repair manual. But you, but before you put the, also before you put your brake caliper back on, you are going to probably need a C clamp, especially if you're getting uh, uh, new brake pads, and you want to use one of the. Here, I'll show you. You basically want to put one of the old brake calipers here, and. Uh, I'm going to put one of the old brake, clamp, uh, brake pads here and then use a C-clamp to push these pistons back in. You just uh, rest the C-clamp at the back of the caliper. Uh, it's going to be hard to show you guys, but yeah, you rest it back here. You put the old brake pad here and you press these in. Make sure they all, uh, you know, they go further back to give you enough space to put the new brake pads on, okay? And, uh, you know, actually before you do that, you make sure you clean this surface. Clean the surface, and then uh, you also use some uh, uh, some grease on here. Uh, I use uh, synthetic brake and caliper grease, but you can also use uh, some silicone paste, which is really good when you're doing your brakes. Okay, and then you also want to clean your caliper bolts and uh, reapply the same grease onto these. This is very important to grease these up so your brake caliper can move back and forth freely. And also these uh, little metal brackets that go on your uh, brake caliper uh, mounting uh, mounting unit. Okay, you want to clean these, uh, sand them down if you have to, and then apply grease on these as well. Okay. Okay. Last but not least, when you go to put your brake calipers bolts back on, you want to make sure you can start them by hand. You want to start one by hand first, then do the other one. Sometimes it's hard to line these up, and they should be. You should be able to get them going by hand. Uh, pretty much you know at least half of the way there make sure you don't cross thread these that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> and with that said this should uh this should you should probably be able to do your breaks hopefully and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more like it please subscribe and i'll see you next time thanks for watching